Have you been wondering where to live in the Portland Metro and maybe you've done some research on Wilsonville, Oregon? Wilsonville is just south of Portland and it provides excellent living. So if you wanna know what it's like to live in Wilsonville, Oregon, then stay tuned. So you've been looking at Wilsonville, Oregon, and you... I think you need to get the, the, What's the juices flowing after a nice lunch, dude. <laughs> we just ate a big lunch. Anyways, what's going on, everybody? This is Jackson Ray Wilkie. And Jesse Ray Dow. And we are in the heart of Wilsonville today. We're gonna go around and show you some of the most up-and-coming neighborhoods like... Villa Bois, Frog Pond, Charbonneau, and Wilsonville. That's right, so we're gonna show you exactly what it's like to live in Wilsonville. We're right in the heart here in, in a shopping center, minutes away from some great, great communities. So, if you are thinking about moving or relocating here to the Portland Metro, reach out to Jesse or myself day, night, weekends, phone calls, text messages, emails, direct messages, however you wanna get a hold of us. We are always here for you and we got your back. Now we are working with clients all across the United States and out of the United States who are relocating here, who have been watching these videos and reach out to us just like you. And we absolutely love it. So make sure to reach out if you are moving here to the Portland Metro. And we are coming up on 100 videos. So make sure you subscribe and click that little bell. We are doing so many videos about what it's like to live here in the Portland Metro and the surrounding areas. So. Click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time we do a new video. Where's the first stop today, man? We're gonna go to Villabois. Villabois, this is a great spot. Villy. Villy? We like to go Millie Vanilli. All right, so we're gonna hop in the car and we're gonna cruise right down the road. Behind me, I-5, we're gonna go underneath it and head over to Villabois. So we have just moved over to the west side of the freeway of I-5. Now, just a couple minutes, literally that direction, you will get to I-5, uh, and it's a quick jaunt up north to Portland, down south to Salem. You're kind of right in the middle, and as you can see, this is an up-and-coming area where there's a lot of homes, condos already, and there's a huge section. I think 4,000 plus homes going in of new construction, so there's a little street down here, a main street that has some uh, convenience stores, restaurants, bars, but if you've got family, this is the perfect place for it. You've got these kind of you know center areas. There's a pool in the back, a community garden. If you look right there, there's a park. Right there, there's another park. It's really peaceful, quiet. Um, there's great schools around here, and the affordability is unbelievable. You'll be able to find homes in the $400,000 range, detached, three, four bedroom, very good size, new construction. And we're st starting to see this place absolutely blow up because you could be just 15, 20 minutes from Portland, um, but you get twice the home for your money around here. You know, while I was shooting that just across the road over there, I see there's actually quite a few for sale signs up and down. Uh, summertime, this is a really hot area. You'll find a lot of homes for sale. You know, all these ones right here, they're three story. You're gonna have, let's see real quick, two bed, two and a half bath. Um, some of them will be three bed, but a couple of them are 290, 295,000 and 300,000. So. 300,000 or below, you'll be able to get into something really nice like this. And these ones are right across from the poo. Uh-oh, Jade House full sending. I'm not too sure about this. Oh! That's what we do. You know, if you're having that decision of where to live, maybe you're 50-50, just like Jesse is on the rail. Wilsonville, Villa Bois here is a great, great option for you when moving to Portland, Oregon. <laughs> um, Jesse spotted anyways, like I said, they have these really nice, you know, detached homes here. There's some brand new construction right down the road. So it would only be fitting for us to go walk through there and show you what these new brand new construction homes look like here. There is so many great uh, price tiers. And this is a very nice mass community. Tons of walkability. Great for families. Great for single people. There's pools. There's rec centers. There's outdoor volleyball courts. There's splash pads. 
There's so much entertainment here. They do a farmer's market every single week. In the summertime, they have a food cart pod uh, once a month. But heck, if I was uh, looking for a place to live outside of Portland, this would definitely be one of the great spots. This new construction we see right here, what price point are we looking at? Yeah, so this is starting off at uh, 530 here for this detached uh, single family home. Immediately. First thing you notice, $500,000 gets you a ton of house here. You got the big, big, tall nine foot ceiling. No, right. These are actually 10 footers. I stand corrected. 10 foot ceilings. <laughs> I only know because I'm five foot tall, so I know there's two of them. <laughs> uh, huge oversized Cook Island, and it's a one big general open area. You got an office right away in here. So you have four bedrooms upstairs with this killer little eagle's landing. You got a nice little desk system here. But, um, the, but these are fake computers. Yeah. Very fake computers. You know, I'm definitely not going to make any work happen on these computers. Got to write them off for that real one. But uh, no, laundry room. You got the master suite down here. It's absolutely stunning. You can see you have your bath for your uh, guests or kids. So you can see the room is very nicely decorated. You got the trade ceilings. You got a his and her closet, which is super cool. I would definitely need both of these with my wardrobe. <laughs> but then you come to the bathroom, very nice suite. You have a tile deck tub, walk-in shower, separate powder bath. You have quartz countertops. You got soft floors, uh, drawers. The thing I love about these deep fold um, drawers is that you put your hair care products in straight up and it doesn't get knocked over. Well, so you're gonna get a ton of home, like we said, for you know the 500,000, maybe 600,000 range. All right, so we're still in the heart of Villebois, um, but where are we gonna go right now? So we're gonna head over to the main part of uh, Wilsonville, which is like the downtown. It's not really a downtown, but it's like the, um, the city area. And then isn't there like a retirement community in here as well? Yeah, there's a super popular retirement community called Charbonneau. It's down by the river and um, it's on a golf course, all single uh, level detached homes down there. It's phenomenal for 55 plus. All right, so that Oswego Grill, Fred Meyer, all that over here, like, tell us about that, Jay Dow. Yeah, so that was a grass field in a gas station years ago, but yeah, they completely bulldozed it, rebuilt the whole center, so it's anchored in by a Fred Meyer's. There's a McMinimins, Oswego Grill, but right here is a Wanker's Corner. The Wanker's Corner is cool because you can go in there, crack some nuts, throw the shells on the floor. They got a super nacho in there that's just killer. And I'm not talking about a freaking super nacho that's this tall. It's like freak. It's like this tall. <laughs> Let's go get one. Let's do it. Oh, tell us about the living we'll find here. Yeah, over here you're gonna have a lot of uh, resale homes. Anywhere I'd say the prices are gonna start in the high 400s, but they go up into the multi-million dollar range. There's tons of luxury living down here, but they're also building another mass community out here. It's called Frog Pond, and they're just kind of just breaking ground. Like, but it's gonna be another it's community. Apart. It's gonna be another yep. community of about 4,000 homes, just like Villabois. This is actually the 2019 Street of Dreams, and wow. I am super stoked. This is uh, really what's gonna kick off the Frog Pond development. All right, so Jesse keeps mentioning the Street of Dreams every year in Portland, uh, in the Portland Metro, not necessarily Portland. They do the Street of Dreams, and a bunch of builders will build their most gorgeous home they can possibly build, and they throw a big party for it. You can go tour all the, um, the homes, and, and they have live bands and stuff, but they're really, really exquisite homes. So if they're doing a street of dreams here, we're gonna have some very, very top end homes here. Even if we can't drive down there, we're gonna drive down there. We gotta give these people what they want. Oh dude, look at that brick house. Oh man, that is cool. I don't know what it is, but that white house catches my attention, and I know that would be my wife's favorite. The Joanna Gaines farmhouse style. I can already see barn doors in there. I don't know if we're supposed to be back here, but I gotta show you. Almost looks like an ADU back there. Then you got like a garage shop almost. All right, so now I'm on the back side of these beautiful homes and as you can see, nothing but fields, really beautiful. Um, a lot of scenery out here. The one thing I noticed, this house here, if you like golf, they're building its own putting green on the side. Are you kidding me? I love golf, everything about it. So. That really intrigues me. But in the back of the white one where we just walked around the other side, now that is an ADU we're starting to see and we actually have so many people reaching out to us um, and they're looking for places with an ADU for the mother-in-law quarter 
or for nannies. That's a great option right there. A detached, beautiful little ADU for the nanny quarter, mother-in-law quarter. Um, and we're starting to see that in the new construction around here. Salem from here is only about um, 30 minutes south. Portland is like 20 minutes north. So it's a great central hub, especially for a lot of people who work in Salem and live up here towards Portland. It's just a really great centralized location. Also, the schools down here are phenomenal. Like Wilsonville High School, amazing. All the elementary schools and junior highs are amazing. And we're actually driving by the Wildcat Way. This would be it, right? This is the, the high school right here. Boom. We are actually right outside of town about a mile, but there is tons of acreage estates and equestrian properties. There's an amazing golf course out here called uh, Oregon Golf Club. Where one of the Street of Dreams were at, I think it was 2016. They were the most stunning, immaculate homes that I'd ever seen in my life. And I would love to live up on that golf course, but it's up on top of Pete's Mountain, which is in between Wilsonville and uh, West Lynn. But we're gonna take you guys through uh, one of the houses that's new construction out there. It's listed at 2.1 million. It's a freaking stunner. All right, we just pulled up to this like mansion out here. We saw it, uh, new construction, and we had to come see it, you know, in person. So if you are thinking about moving or relocating here to the Portland Metro, reach out to Jesse or myself day, night, weekends, phone calls, text messages, emails, direct messages, however you want to get a hold of us. We are always here for you and we got your back. Now we are working with clients all across the United States and out of the United States who are relocating here who have been watching these videos and reach out to us just like you and we absolutely love it. So make sure to reach out if you are moving here to the Portland Metro. And we are coming up on 100 videos, so make sure you subscribe and click that little bell. We are doing so many videos about what it's like to live here in the Portland Metro and the surrounding areas. So click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified every time we do a new video. Mm -hmm.